say fight back. The government says no gas. We say fight back. The government says no gas. We say fight back. The government says no gas. We say fight back. This is really important stuff to come out here like this today, uh, to stand up with your neighbors and to come out with community members. Um, it's been an amazing two years when it comes to Steve Croman. The Attorney General and a lot of electeds have weighed in uh, and pushed back against him hard. But I think it's really important to remember that this all begins here. Steve Croman bought our building in October 2012. Last year, Croman's workers renovated an apartment and, according to Con Ed and DOB, apparently used improper piping and were also found to have performed unauthorized valve operation. The building's gas was immediately turned off by Con Ed, and 9300 gave us a couple of pot plates to cook on. And we've now been without gas since September 2017, which is almost nine months. We looked into the matter ourselves and learned that Croman had actually rectified nothing. Time and time again, we urged 9300 to restore the gas service, and we asked for a reasonable rent abatement for the huge inconvenience of not having a stove but our attempts to engage Croman were very unsuccessful. And the same thing had happened to us in 2016 when the building was without heat and hot water for a total of a month and a half during the freezing winter months. It's a shame what's going on in your building and in our neighborhood. And we all have responsibilities to change this. You know, on the state level, uh, with uh, Assemblywoman Lee New and I, we were able to pass a package of tenant laws this week to strengthen rent regulation. But we have to know that what we, what the Assembly and the Senate did in 1993 and 1997 allowed this to happen. They allowed people like Croman to try to get tenants out because they thought the golden ticket of the market rate apartment was available to them. No gas, nine months. This is a story we've heard time and time again. This is unacceptable. It's unacceptable for what the landlord does, and we need to do something about it. We need the investigations from the Attorney General to come in and talk about that, but we need to think about how we change the law on the city and state level, and luckily we have our, our strong council colleague, Carlina Rivera, with us. Ever since I started my work as a housing activist, organizing at Good Old Lower East Side, working with Cooper Square Committee, Croman has been a name that I have known right away. It is synonymous with harassment, illegal activity, and exploitation. So we have our, our, our groups that are helping tenants organize. That's the first thing, you gotta get organized. You have the city council and you have the assembly that have your back. You have us funding the groups that are doing the work. But we also need oversight and investigation. We need to stop the banks that are lending these landlords money and allowing them to compile these portfolios of buildings and having massive property and really just trying to take over and further exacerbate the gentrification and its adverse effects on all of our communities. So I'm here because I stay with you. I know it's not right that you have not been for months without gas. And it'll be gas today, it could be no ceiling tomorrow, it could be uh, unsafe common areas, it could just be the constant harassment, the frivolous litigation, the deprivation of services, and the constant harassment. Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. And so, with that in mind, I want to let one uh, representative of the 159th Street, Stanton Street Tenants Association, talk a little bit about what's been going on in the building, and talk about how they are going to they are going to be vigilant, and they are going to stop Steve Croman from doing the same thing when they start renovations in this building again that they've been doing in the past. So, without further ado, I would love to welcome Kit Brower, a resident of 159th Street. During the time in which we were fighting Steve Croman, two of the apartments on the second floor were vacated because of unsafe conditions. The ceilings began to collapse because of the dangerous demolition that Steve Croman was engaged in. Right, 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 right. As Croman moves into a new living condition here in the next couple months, <laughs> One less constrained, perhaps. We anticipate that perhaps there will be more and continued construction in our building. So today, in a lot of senses, is a demonstration of strength saying, we will not accept construction as harassment. That's right. That's their job, okay? They get paid when, and they're supposed to provide these services. And I think that in terms of the organizing, 
we have to get the tenants to say, we are rent paying tenants and we will not accept these conditions. And the only way to fight back is just get them every single time. I mean, thank you to Goals, to Cooper Square, and all the advocates and all the tenants. Last year, the city council passed 12 bills. Stand for tenant safety. <laughs> And the good news is that the city has put in money to hire more inspectors. So there are 75 inspectors that are being hired right now to do these kind of inspection and make sure the staff the harass As much as the city passes laws, the, the earth that law is still in place and the state has the, um, has the control over our rent regulations. And this week, the assembly, as my colleague had said, just passed a lot of our rent regs that would basically um, make sure that we are getting rid of vacancy bonuses, vacancy decontrol, MCIs, IAIs. We're trying to make sure that we're not incentivizing bad landlords to harass tenants in order to get them out. Literally, one of our Republican colleagues said uh, that we are moving the goalposts for landlords to be able to make these market rate apartments. Moving the goalposts, that depends on what your goals are, huh? That's right. There's a lot of different regulations that we can do better on the state level. Unfortunately, on the state level, the Senate and the governor's office have not actually helped us in passing these regulations to make sure that we can protect our tenants better. We need your help to continue that push. We have amazing organizations down here who have these examples, who have the stories, and we need your stories to go up to Albany to be able to move the hearts of these people.